destination human. Nice, bright, sunshiny spring day. Absolutely beautiful blue skies. Look at this. No chemtrails either. None that I've seen anyway today, so that's a good thing. And out here working in the yard, as you saw from what I was doing a few minutes ago, getting all these pellets prepared for use. There is a lot of materials that are out there, folks, that uh, can be used. And Kevin Allen up there, we'll get to him in just a second. Pallets, pallets we use a great deal here for, ta-da, some of the chicken coops we've been making. Uh, we'll get up to that here in just a second. But folks, you know, when times are tough, uh, especially now, both Kevin and I are out of work. We have had no work for quite some time. You have to buckle down and make use of resources that are in front of you, such as, well, pallets, free. You know, we, all I do is go around to local vendors and ask them if I can uh, take their pallets, their old pallets, and uh, I come home with a truckload at least two or three times a week. Taking them apart, making sure we're scrapping out everything. There's all the old nails. Make sure I keep them. We don't need them in the yard anyway. Who needs a flat tire? Getting everything separated into sizes. I've been pulling stuff apart for quite some time. Let me get over here to this chicken tractor. Um, I put the design together, but it was uh, Mr. Kevin Allen, master of many things, one, and his excellent skills uh, put this together. But this Oh, I gotta turn the tunes down or we're not gonna be able to hear much more. Hold on. Gotta love Cheap Trick though. And this chicken tractor um, was basically built out of almost 99% reused materials. Uh, everything was scavenged, re reused. Old plywood. And this is uh, all this here is all pallet board. Believe that or not, it's all scabbed together. It comes the clabbers down the side. All the trim. And then our chicken coop here. Though it's uh, mo you know it's plywood, of course. But as you look at it, all the trim, that's all made out of pallet board. Reused piece of lumber. Two by fours, scabbed from old pallets. We'll take a look inside here. Nesting boxes, all made from pallets. Of course, the uh, hardware cloth I always bought at the hardware store, but just about all of that, everything in there, all trimmed out with the pallet boards. And if you want to get real masterful, I'll come over here to Kevin Allen. Hey, everybody. Master of many things, one. Yeah, who is not a fallacy. <laughs> No. And we're looking at what he's putting together for another a little chicken coop. Uh, the spoiled chicken. Yeah, the spoiled chicken coop. There you go. And Kevin's planning on clabbering the roof structure, the whole roof structure, all the way down, all the way down the sides here. Uh, the ends will be covered, and I believe he's going to have some chicken wire here at the bottom, but that's still up in the air. Look at this uh, nice pampered chicken area, chicken nest right there. Look at that. 
And all this material that you're seeing right in front of you, all of it, was all recovered from pallets or, you know, recovered material. None of this stuff was bought. The only thing that was bought at one time was the screws, but they came out of a uh, an auction uh, box. And uh, it was like a construction uh, storage unit. Bought for very cheaply, probably uh, pennies per thousands for that matter, because as far as how many screws were in that container. But we're talking about... Uh, you have to excuse me for a minute. I'm making a video. Okay. All right. But uh, uh, Kevin had um, put together something I want to show you folks too. Kevin, will you uh, be so kind? I will. And Kevin, tell the people what we have in our hand here. This is something you can do while you wait for your coop to be built. Uh, tuna can, cardboard, wax, uh, long-term candle. You could use it as a sterno. Um, it won't go a long time for heat, but it'll go a couple of hours, an hour and a half, two yeah, hours. Yeah, let's show them how it's all packed burning. together. So what is actually did you uh, do to... I know it's that's a tuna can. Tuna okay. can, uh, strips of cardboard, just slightly wider. So you can have a starting point for a wick, mm -hmm. and then used wax melted and filled in. This is wrapped. Yeah, you should see him. He uh, tightly. He put had a whole pan of wax making these the one night. And then you I just rough to... the top up, um, and it takes a few minutes to light. But you you get the entire surface light lit. So it could be a temporary warm up heat source, maybe, uh, or light or cooking. It's a bit of a pain in the wind, but it, uh, I burned one to see how long they lasted. It was about an hour and a half, but it was enough to light up the outside I, um, yard. Good, so, yeah, yeah, it um, was uh, quite maybe bright. we'll come back at night and show you. It's being a pain to light right now. It takes a few minutes to get it started. Um, and I don't know if in the daylight you're really going to see. But it, uh, it put off a good-sized flame for that matter, and enough that you could cook on it. Enough that you could heat up a, a small space very, very quickly. Um, though there was some smoke involved with it, but if you're, you know, got a good ventilation, uh, I don't see a problem with it. But you know, a great thing to have as far as packing around to be able to uh, cook with or heat with. Oh, you know, made out of reused materials. I mean, the candles were just old candles that we had around the house, and the cardboard, I believe, was off of uh, some packaging that we got from in the mail. And who doesn't love tuna? There it goes, starting to bubble Yeah, out. and I kind of overdid it with the amount of wax because I knew it would be stored, and I did that to protect the cardboard, so even if it rained, it'll still be good. It may take a while to melt the mac wax away from the cardboard, but it will light even if it's been dropped in the lake. You could pick it up and still light this. Um, just have patience yeah, that's with great. It. Yeah, that's great but to know. We'll come back at night and show you how bright it is. Yeah, we'll somewhere. do that on, a, on another video. Let's see if we can't get turned around here. Anyway, uh, let's see if we can't get both of us in here. Master of many things, one, David Destination Human. We'll catch you on the next video. Love, light, and peace, folks. Take care.